In this video, we're going to finish the percent problems worksheet on the CUDA software website. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can get to that. We started in the first two videos with using proportions, and then I showed you a simple formula based on those proportions to help make solving these percent problems a little bit quicker and a little bit easier. So if you need a refresher on those, go ahead and watch the previous two videos. For number 17, it says, what is 68% of 118 tons. So converting the percent, we're looking at 0 0.68 of, so multiplied by that 118 tons, and that's going to give us our answer or a number that we're looking for. So we're going to multiply 0.68 by 118, and that's going to give us 80.24, which rounds, since we're rounding to the nearest tenth, to 80.2. So 80.2 tons is the answer for number 17, since 68% of 118 is 80.2 tons. And number 18, so we're solving for that percent. So in decimal form, the percentage is represented by x. So what percent of that 180 minutes, so multiplied by 180.4 minutes, is 25.2? Point seven minutes. In order to solve for this, we're just going to divide both sides by 180.4 minutes. Twenty-five point seven divided by 180.4 is going to be 0 0.142, which, when multiplied by 100, will be 14.2. 14.2% of 180.4 is 25.7. And number 19, 16 inches is 35% of what number? So our 16 inches is, so is equal to 0.35 of some number x. Divide by 0.35. So we're dividing the 16 by 0.35, and that's going to give us 45.7. So 45.7 inches is our answer for number 19. And number 20, 90% of 54.4 hours is what? 0 0.90 of that 54.4 hours, so multiply by 54.4, is equal to what? 0 0.9 times 54.4 is equal to 48.96, which rounds to 49 hours. So 90% of 54.4 is 49 hours. Number 21, 140 feet is 97% of what number? So we have our 140 feet, and that's equal to 97%, so 0 0.97 when written as a decimal of some number x. Divide both sides by 0 0.97. And that will give us 144.3. So 144.3 feet is our answer. 140 feet is 97% of 144.3 feet. And number 22, what is 170% of 97 tons? So we're looking for some number x, and that is 170%. So converting that to a decimal, 1.7 of 97 tons. So we're going to multiply 1.7 by 97 to get 164.9. So 164.9 tons is 170% of 97 tons. 
I noticed that since the percentage was greater than 100%, the decimal was greater than 1, and when we multiply by 97, our answer was greater than that 97. If this percentage had been less than 100%, our number would have been less than 97. And number 23, our question is, what is 103% of 127 tons? So some number x is 103%, converting that to a decimal, 1.03 of, so multiply by 127 tons. 1 and 3 hundredths multiplied by 127 equals 130.81, which rounds to 130.8. So 130.8 tons is 103% of 127 tons. So notice, again, since the percentage was greater than 100%, the decimal, in turn, is greater than 1. So we get a larger number when that percentage is multiplied to the 127. And lastly, number 24. Number 24 says 102 hours is 94% of what? So we're looking at 102, and that is 94%, so converting that to a decimal, 0 0.94 of some number x. Now note how this percentage is less than 100%, so we know that 102 is going to be less than our x value. So when we divide both sides by 0 0.94, We get 102 divided by 0.94, and that's going to be 108.5. So x is 108.5, and that represents hours. So 102 hours is 94% of 108.5 hours. And that wraps up our percent problems worksheet. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment below if you have any questions.